All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So at this point, most of you should know that the Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's Extreme Z Awakening is on the way and the Dokkan community seems to be in an uproar over the way it was handled. I mean, I'll give you guys my personal opinion about him once we get through all the information, but right now it seems like most people are very disappointed and upset over the way he turned out. So with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And as always, we'll start with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details first and then jump over to his EZA details so you guys can compare the two. Okay, so starting with his pre-EZA leader skill, it's int types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. And then for his 12 key super attack, it causes mega colossal damage and then his 18 key super causes mega colossal damage as well and greatly raises attack for one turn and his passive is attack plus 18 percent for every key sphere obtained and key plus one whenever key is raised with key spheres so back in the day when he first came out this guy was considered easily the hardest hitting unit in the game i mean the numbers he was putting up back then was just like blowing people's minds you know so like when he eventually got his extreme z awakening which is happening now people were expecting him to you know once again be if not the hardest hitting unit in the game at least among the top five right or maybe top 10 and things didn't quite turn out that way i mean obviously one other thing that was a glaring issue with this guy as well as most units back then is his lack of defense right he's not raising defense on his super attacks he's not raising defense on his passive so he was just i mean the very definition of a class cannon right no defense lots and lots of offense and that was it now moving on to the extreme z awakening where they do fix that major problem of the defense uh, his leader skill after EZA is int types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack 12 key raises defense for one turn, it causes mega colossal damage, and then the 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. So uh, from the start we have some extra defense on both the 12 key and the 18 key supers. And then for his passive, he gets defense plus 58% right from the start, plus an additional defense plus 58% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 18% for every key sphere obtained, and key plus 1 whenever key is raised with key spheres. And of course, his super attack level goes up to a max of 25 compared to 20 before the EZA. So when you look at this EZA, right? Um, this part remains exactly the same. This is the original passive from before the EZA, and that means what they added was the defense. The defense plus 58%, and then additional defense plus 58% when performing a super attack. And then, of course, we get the extra defense on the 12 key and 18 key supers too. Um, but that's it. That's all they changed. They gave him more defense. They did not give him any more offensive capability aside from of course the additional super attack which does uh, make a difference right having a level 25 super attack versus 20 does make a difference but people were hoping for you know maybe attack and defense plus attack and defense plus 58 percent as opposed to just you know uh, just as opposed to just defense here and also maybe if they didn't do that then at least more attack per key sphere because the issue with getting you know uh, attack for getting key spheres and no just base attack is you know sometimes you just won't be able to get multiple key spheres right on some rotations on some turns you might only be able to get like two or three and in those circumstances um he's not getting a lot of attack right if you're only getting if you're only getting two or three key spheres he's getting like you know 30 to 50 percent attack right and he's still gonna do some damage but it's not really gonna be that impressive um, I do like the defense though. His defense is very, it's going to be very good. Um, in fact, we can actually pop over to the Dokkan wiki here. I'm sorry, the Dokkan subreddit. And uh, 
we have some calculations here by Reddit user LR Alternative Force. So big shout out to him. And if you take a look, um, these calculations are not bad. Okay, so essentially, let me actually click on this so you can get a better look. Okay, so essentially, his attack per turn, okay, when rainbowed, is 7,043,992, and then with a 40% support, it goes up to 8,342,417, and his defense, okay, before super, it is 95,978, with a 40% defense support, it's 120,277, and then after super, of course, he gets a much bigger boost, Defense is 199,868, so basically 200,000, and then with a 40% support, it's 250,468, which of course is significant, right? I mean, compared to before when he had like, I don't know, 50k defense or something like that, I don't remember exactly, but he had like no defense prior to the EZA. Now, these are some pretty impressive numbers. Of course, he's still going to be mainly a slot 2 unit, because this defense right here, before the EZA, right? Um... Oh, I just realized my cursor is not being captured. Oh, uh, that's my bad. You guys can still see the numbers, though. That's my mistake. But, um, yeah, I mean, these numbers, like pre-super numbers, are not going to hold up in a lot of events these days. Whereas the post-super numbers are very good. So in slot 2, you could feel pretty safe about his defense, right? His tanking. But um it's the offense that really throws people off right like his defense is fine like it's good uh it's really good actually but th this this attack per turn number is actually lower than like the super saiyan 4 goku extreme z awakening and you know for a dokkan fest lr or sorry not dokkan fest lr for a summonable lr eza versus a you know really old dokkan fest eza a 120 lead eza he should have more attack right he should be doing more damage and don't get me wrong guys he's gonna be hitting really hard still it's just i think these days we expect more from EZAs, we expect more from new units and it's really bad nice fault for the crazy power creep we've been you know seeing recently and um yeah i mean i think people just wanted more and my opinion i mean i guess it's time for me to give you guys my thoughts on this um, I think, I think that this is a very balanced EZA, okay? It's an EZA that, it, it, it makes sense, right? He, he gets a little bit more offensive capabilities, not a ton more, a little bit more, but mostly it's the focus on his major deficiencies, his major flaw, which would be his defense. But they could have given us a little bit more in the offensive department, I feel. Um, but it is balanced. Okay, I, I'm not. I'm not super upset by it. I'm really not. I'm. I'm satisfied with it. I'm not in an uproar like some people. I know there's a lot of huge Gohan fans out there, so that probably, you know, contributes to the anger that's out there. But for me personally, it's a fair easy A. You know, like I. I did expect more, but I also realized that like this is not a bad. Extreme Z Awakening at all. Like some people calling him trash are crazy. Anybody calling him trash is 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 out of your mind. But he could have been more, right? And and once again, you know, it's just something it's just about expectations. It's just about expectations. If some of the more recent EZAs we've seen, some of the more recent units um that we've received, right, like new Dokkan Fest and stuff like that, if they weren't so busted, if they weren't so broken, then maybe we wouldn't be as disappointed or let down when we the, the Gohan is yay, but because things are really busted these days, um, people just, just expected more from the Gohan is yay. So, there you go, that's uh, how I feel about it. Um, I do think that he is still gonna be very good. I'm excited to finally be able to run him on you know Super Battle Road and stuff like that because he's still gonna be doing some monster numbers while now having some very good defense, albeit in the second slot after he supers. Um, but yeah, man, there you go. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Extreme Z Awakening, LR Gohan, one of the OG LRs on the way. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. Are you upset? Are you mad like a lot of people I've seen out there? Or are you 
satisfied with it, you know, because uh, I'm I'm closer to satisfied than upset, but I, I, I was hoping for more. I, I was, but um, there you go, man. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Easy 8. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.